how is everyone after the weekend? Obviously, frustrating waves. Is it fired up a wee bit? Yeah, obviously, coming up to the game and definitely feels like a defeat. Um, you know, just them to score, obviously. It's a great goal by Slattery and, you know, 30 yards, top corner. Um, and it, it's hard because I feel, I feel like we, we put a lot into that game and we, we played really well in the majority of it. And the last 15, 15 minutes, we probably went for ball a little bit and to to get over the line in this league you need to put in performances for 90 minutes so yeah it felt like a felt like a loss but um, you know it's a point at home we've just got to keep trying to pick them up um, towards the end of the season. Is that how you feel about it? It's like any point counts really at this stage? Yeah definitely I feel like um, at home obviously three points are, are massive for the football club and you know our home record's been so good this year um, you know if we can pick up points away from home that'll really help us towards the end of the season. Tough away and it'll be tougher, I suppose, at Ibrox, won't it? Yeah, it's not not the best of games to go into after a defeat like that, but uh, a draw like that, sorry. Um, Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. We know what it's uh, like when you play at Ibrox, and you know, they've just had a um, defeat themselves, so um, they're going to be really up for it, so we've just got to be ready. How do you feel the move's been for you, Christian? Do you know what? I've I've actually really enjoyed it, you know. in terms of like goal tally and stuff, like I probably haven't contributed as much as I'd like to, but it feels good to, to be out there with the boys and, and feel part of it. And, um, you know, I feel really fit and this is the first time in a long time that I've, I've felt that way. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really good. Like, love the dressing room, love working under the manager and I'm um, looking forward to the rest of the season, really, just to, to try and help Kamal as much as I can. Well, from our point of view, we're just um, disappointed with no one a game where I thought we were the better team um, Saturday. Um, for every day it was here and I spoke after the game, you know, it, it was a blow for us. Two points taken away for us in the dying embers of the game. It was a fantastic strike for the boy Slattery and there's that part of it, you know. And um, But we were good in the game and, and I take confidence for the fact that I thought my team were good. Um, I thought we were better than Motherwolf for the majority of the game, if not um, all of it. Um, and I thought that we dealt with the game well and I think we're going to come across these types of games between now and the end of the season. We're going to have more and more pressure um, put on each and every game in three points. And I love the fact of how my players just dealt with the game, set about it, got ourselves in front, should have got another one. Um, but the play was good and we've tried to concentrate on the positive aspect of that. Um, we've had a good team meeting, we've spoke about just the little things that can maybe bring some, uh, unnecessary pressure on ourselves in the last part of the game. You know, giving away too many free kicks, um, not securing the ball, staying concentrated, just little things that then can become a big thing. So, um, you know, we we feel as though we uh, delivered the type of performance that should win as a game and we're hoping for more of the same going forward. How do you build belief in a week like this when the away record's not been... In yeah, it's difficult. My, my part of my job is convincing, and um, you know we've, what we've got to do is try and take confidence from the fact that we've we've been to Glasgow this season, um, Celtic or Hamden, uh, Parkhead or Hamden, particularly where we had two very strong performances, both with the ball and out, out of possession, more out of possession because we understand when we go to Rangers on Saturday that uh, we can't take Rangers on in a possession-based game. Um, it isn't like for light, but what you've got to do is still try and demonstrate aspects of your game that's better than theirs, and hopefully we can um, make it difficult enough for them. We need to try and um, disrupt their play and try and not let them enjoy the game. Don't want them to have any real, their better players really taking part in the game, and we've got to try and nullify threats left, right and centre. We've played them prior um, to the new year there, um, not so long ago, and we lost the game um, uh, sorry, just after New Year we lost the game 3-2 here and we had a go at it. But Rangers were good, particularly for a 20-25 minute period where I thought their movement really uh, unnerved us. So we, we'll look at even that part of the game and, and try and make sure that we're, we're better because uh, we're going to have to do so much well to get a, a positive result. But that's what we're there for. We're, we're there to try and do that, exactly that. Um, and hopefully we can be good enough. It's a bruising result for them on Sunday. Is there a way that you can try and use that going to Ibrox and, and maybe try and unsettle them early, get, get the crowd on their backs? No, I, th- I don't think anything to do with the game on Sunday. I think part of the plan, every manager when they go to Ibrox, I would say, would be to try and get a good, strong start in the game and try and 
you know, if you're going to get a positive result, you, it's more or less you have to try and strike that first blood and um, you know, try and make sure that you, you show the confidence in the game, have the appetite to take part in the game and and go and try and uh, show both sides. You've got to defend well, you've got to be fully concentrated, you've got to be really organised. Uh, and we'll take confidence from a couple of the games that we've had, particularly at Hamden and at Parkhead in these games. We lost 2-0, we lost a 90 minute, 90 minute goal, sorry to make the, the second goal at um, Ibrox first time around, but um, I think we're better than what we were then, so we'll take confidence from um, certain things that we did right, but to ultimately go and win the game, you're going to have to go and show a real attacking threat, and it's getting that balance right between attacking and defending, because the more you attack, the more vulnerable you are going the other end, and we've got to make sure we pick and choose our moments, but... Um, you know, the, the sell to the players will be we are good enough to go if we deliver a performance and get a positive result. In squad news? Um, well, Kyle Vassell still in, uh, suspended his second game. Lewis Mayo un, unable to play, obviously, against his parent club. Um, uh, I think that's it. Liam Donnelly will be touching goal for the weekend, but he's improving. And the long term ones, uh, and as Cameron's still out, Jarrell Dorset's been back training. Um, he's he'll get another full week's work this week, and um, we'll come into the squad all being well. Um, I think that's us from the weekend.